If you want instant access to new videos as they're uploaded, then please click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to comment on the videos. And if you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. We've just released BetAngel version 139, and there are some key features that we've introduced in this particular version. But the key one is live scores on tennis. So I'm going to talk you through the key features and show you how to bring up uh, all of them and uh, how to use them. So let's do that. What we're going to do is we're going to um, go in via Guardian uh, because that's the easiest way to show you all of the features in one go. But obviously if you're watching a tennis match you can uh, bring up these features however you wish. But we're going through Guardian because that just shows them off all very quickly. So if you click on the G in Guardian uh, that will bring up a list of markets and if I just bring that over to the screen from here um, you can see there are no markets within Guardian at the moment so what we need to do is find some tennis matches and if I go into the search option you'll now see that there is a drop down menu here and this drop down menu has some pre-configured um, searches on there you can type in these searches if you want to so I could type in uh, tennis and match odds if I could type them in, there we go um, and that can bring up tennis and match odds but you can see we've pre-configured some in here as well so if we actually look in any of these uh, particular markets and um, we could do a search on any one of these predefined lists and that will bring it up in a flash uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration we're going to look at tennis and match odds and then what we're going to do is we're going to mark uh, all of those tennis matches so I'm just going to page down and do that and then drag and drop them into Guardian and you can see that it starts populating these matches and you can see it indicates which ones are in play so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them by in play so you can see any matches that are in play go at the top of the list here I'm going to speed up the cycling as well so that will whiz down there and uh, get all of the matches that are currently in play and you can see we've got um, three matches so far there are an awful lot in here uh, quite a few of them are going off a bit later this evening um, so we're a bit thin on the ground at this particular moment in time but now that we know we've got three matches in play if I mark those three here and then we go to watch then what I'm going to do is say display this in the selected watch list and what that will do is it will bring up a watch list and you can see uh, we've actually got that synced with the list of markets has brought up all of those. That was an error on my behalf, but a very useful demonstration of how the watch list can cope with many. <laughs> uh, but what I'm actually going to do here is if we, if I just delete all those that aren't in play, this is probably going to be an easiest way of doing it. You can see we're just left with those three uh, that are in play. I'll just bring that down here so that you can see that. Now, if you want to bring up live scores on the tennis matches, it's really, really simple. So if we go to display, you can see down here we've got tennis scores and then you can see we've also got tennis scores previous sets now because it's adding additional information into there you just need to resize your watch list and there you go hey presto there are all of the tennis scores so you can see I've pinned this to the top so if I want to work in BetAngel on something I can do that and then have the tennis scores floating around somewhere else so I can switch between markets really quickly and if you want to zip into a market you can custom configure this on the watch list. There are loads of options on the watch list that you can use, including how it's displayed, how the information is sorted, and so on. Um, but I've configured it so that when I click on one of these, it will just switch to Bet Angel and bring up that particular market. So you can see here, uh, we've got this particular market on here. If we were looking at this and thinking, oh, that's interesting, uh, we can just flick to that market. And if you want to, you can display it on the ladder, uh, or you can display it via the one-click screen. So it's up to you how you want to do this, and you can custom configure it. You can see in here options. When a price is clicked, um, refresh market under mouse, or do nothing, um, display the market on the ladder screen, or whatever, and so on and so forth. You've got loads of options in here, so explore all of them as well. So maybe you want to sort the markets by volume. So you want the biggest volume market at the top and the lowest volume at the bottom. Uh, you can do that but basically you can configure it how you wish so if we go in here we'll say display it on the ladder screen you can see that you can just flick between one market and the other uh, very quickly and necessarily you can see there's 177,000 matched here 400,000 here so this is the match that we're interested in at the top here 
But basically the watch list will allow you to keep an eye on all the matches, all the scores will update, and then as one player serves or the other you'll see um, the ball move from one player to the other, and you'll see also that the uh, scores update real time as well. So very, very easy to bring up the scores and to put it into the actual um, main application itself. But obviously we also have Tennis Trader as well. So what we've done is if you're pointing at a tennis match, Tennis Trader uh, will basically update the scores for you there as well. So if you want to use Tennis Trader or the watch lists or however you want to configure it to look at the live scores, obviously you need to set up Tennis Trader correctly to get the full benefit from that. Uh, but Tennis Trader will automatically pull the scores in for you as, as well now. So um, you don't need to worry about that depending upon which match you're on. Tennis Trader will automatically update that. So if I skip into this match here, you'll see Tennis Trader has um, pulled that all together for you. So very, very simple to use and to do. Uh, so yeah, those are the tennis scores within here. And the great thing is you can also uh, connect BetAngel to XL and bring up the tennis scores inside Excel as well. So let me show you how to do that. Again, you can do that through Guardian if you want to do it on multiple markets, or you can just go into the Excel tabs and do it on a single market. It's up to you how you want to do this. But let's have a quick look at how that works. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, visit BetAngel.com and download a free trial today.